Interesting. Ryan's had great finishes. So that's his, I guess that's a six there. And who's next? Who's next? Jam session. Great. Adam's doing well. And then finally, Godot. And that, you know, this fleet is so much fun to watch because it could be any of them in first through seventh place at any time. And it's just tightened up. You just saw what just happened with the finishes today. They just tightened up. Who's this next boat? But look at the spread, for heaven's sakes. For a one-design fleet, I mean, 28 boats. I mean, you're talking about a literally a couple-mile difference between the first of these one-design boats and the last of them. That was arbitrage. That was, that was Bruce, arbitrage. And Bruce and Nicole coming across. And next up, we've got Big Buoys, Peter Baldwin. Great finish for him. I think this is his, his top finish yet. Well, good for them. You know, when, when the 105s were introduced, Rod Johnstone came out to St. Francis, and we held, uh, we, he was a guest speaker at a Tuesday. It was the Wednesday Yachting Luncheon. It was then Tuesdays. It was the Tuesday Yachting Luncheon. And uh, he brought the first 105 to the bay, and um, we invited the assemblage to come out in their three-piece suits and wingtips, and they did. And Rod and I uh, copped donuts in the turning base and just did loop after loop after loop, and we brought people out on these boats. And what, and what year was this, Ron? That would have been around 94-ish. You could look it up in 94, 93, right around in there. And um, what's impressive is it, gr gra it, it grew over the next several years to be the biggest class on the bay. And it went back and forth. The Canar class is, is a very large class, too, with 30-plus boats. But uh, the 105s, you know, they're the... They're a very, very competitive. And we fleet. got, yeah, we got to look at this finish here. Look, look at, at this one. We've got four coming in here. Look at this. We You're have Donkey position. Jack, Akula. Which is the first one? Uh, the red, the red spinnaker closest to us is Donkey Jack. The dark hole is Akula. Oh, he's got a shot. Donkey Jack's on a, got a breathe. Look at that. Look at, look at Donkey Jack. Look at oh, this. Oh, here comes Donkey Jack. Look at, look at that. They just caught a puff and ran exactly. with it. Exactly. Yeah, this That's is what fantastic. we were talking about earlier. This we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see the standings after that. Yeah, the current. This is where basically we, we talked earlier about the tactical advantage about basically, you know, being to the right and up the breeze. That's right. So that's what Rolfi did. He went from fourth in that pack to I think second. I don't think he got the first place boat in that pack, but that was a basically just carrying the puff over a competitor. Do we know who it was? Super exciting.